Well, everyone, you probably didn't listen to me and you probably installed iOS 14 on your device and you're probably stuck in a boot loop or something like that. Now, I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to fix this specific situation. I did the same tutorial last year and it worked perfectly fine and I figured I might as well do the exact same one this year. Things haven't really changed, but I definitely want to go ahead and calm you guys down a little bit because in that video, I kind of said a lot of your data might be missing, especially if your phone is boot looping, whatever. And I want to say that's probably not going to be the case. I'll go ahead and tell you guys this way, like if your phone, if you think it's broken or whatever, even if it is, the phone itself may not be able to be recovered, but the data within it probably can still be. You may have had your Instagram DM saved, your Snapchat saved, your Google Photos if you have that enabled, maybe even iCloud in the background, you may not even know. Even your iMessages may still be recoverable if you just go in and log into your iCloud from another phone. So some of your data may still be there, which is really, really important. So. The phone can be replaced and everything, but the data within it hopefully can still be recovered if you go ahead and log it back into your normal stuff, your emails and all that stuff will still be there. So I had an iPhone 6S Plus that was boot looping earlier and I was able to go ahead and get into recovery mode. So what this basically means is that the phone needs to be plugged into iTunes, whether it's on iOS 14 or whatever version. This is very common for all versions of phones. And in order to get into this specific situation, what you will need to do is make sure that you know how to put your specific phone in recovery mode and I'll paste a link down in the description below it'll be the first link down there it'll explain exactly how to put your phone in this specific mode and it can be done on any iPhone even if you have an iPhone 5 or 4 I'm sure it can still happen so this tutorial will work on all those different types of devices not just iOS 14 now if you're here once you're in this recovery mode thing now on this specific one you can tell I think I'm on iOS 11 on this device or maybe I'm on iOS 12 or something. So once you're in this specific situation on iPhone 6S Pluses, it's a little bit different on iPhone 11, it's a little bit different and all that good stuff. So once you're here from that boot looping situation, what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and plug it in straight into your MacBook, your Windows, whatever, and you want to make sure you have iTunes enabled, or if you're on macOS Catalina or newer, make sure you have the Files app open. Now, once you do plug it in, you'll get an iTunes prompt just like this. And as you can see right here, it's prompting me to say, okay, iTunes must check the iPhone, whatever, yada, yada, yada. This is very common. As soon as you plug in your iPhone, you should be able to see these type of things on your macOS machine or Windows machine. So what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and click check. It'll go ahead and check for an update. It's not going to be able to look for it. It always happens. It just says it, I guess, to make you feel better or whatever. And it'll say there is a problem with your iPhone, yada, yada, yada. It'll say this will require to be started or updated. So what you want to do here is you can click update if you think your machine or if your iPhone can be updated. In a case of a boot loop, it's very rare that can happen, if I'm being completely honest. So it's probably not going to be updated, but you can still click it. So I can click update and I'll go ahead and click check and it's going to just keep telling me the same things. As you can see, your iPhone can't be updated. So I can go ahead and click cancel at this point. And our only option here is to restore our iPhone. So at this point, all we need to do is click restore iPhone. It'll say automatically whatever. You want to click check iTunes in the background will go ahead and find the latest version of software, which is going to be iOS 13.5.1, I believe. So I can click Restore and Update. As you can see, iOS 13.5.1, it prompts me to download it. So I can go and click Next, click Agree, and I'll go ahead and take a little while for it to fully download and go through, so it's totally okay. And at this time, you want to make sure your phone is still plugged in. You want to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. You want to make sure it's charged. You know it's probably charging if it's plugged in but you do not want to disconnect your iPhone at all during this process. So I'll let it go through and I'll come back when it kind of goes a little bit further. It's on my iPhone, but shortly after you can see that after being plugged in for a while, the iPhone does eventually restore. This is pretty much what it will look like on the Mac OS machine or on the Windows, whatever. It will say restoring iPhone software. It will go ahead and give you all this other info down here. And right up there where it says restoring, that's just the restore bar. It matches up almost exactly like what's on the iPhone. So you just want to give it a little bit more time and then it should eventually be extracted through and your device should boot up. And at some point your iPhone will reboot and look like it rebooted and then it went back and we actually finally got through. And I'm gonna switch to my better camera so it doesn't look as bad. So at this point, all you have to do is go through the initial setup just like as soon as you bought an iPhone. And that's really pretty much the process. It doesn't take too much time after this. You got out of that dreaded boot loop as long as you still have your iCloud password that you log, that you log back into the phone with and you'll be set. If you don't know the account information, then obviously you won't be able to get through far. And then from there, you can go through and it pretty much is the basic process. You guys know as soon as you boot up an iPhone, that's pretty much how to do it. So you might run into other issues, but those are going to be software issues. You know, iOS 13.5.2 will fix that or iOS 14 in the future. So that's pretty much how to do it. Like I said, you might run into other issues. 
if you do, just keep trying. I ran into issues many, many times before where I had to go and reboot the whole entire thing. I had to go and keep holding down home button, holding this, getting back into that device configuration mode where it says iTunes and all that stuff, plug it back in, and then restore that way. So you're probably going to run into a ton of issues, but you just got to keep going. My iPhone 7s have run into bunches of issues, and I've been able to fix it every single time. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or into any other problems, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to love.